We had weather today that perhaps made you wish you owned a boat. Well, CBS2 meteorologist Ed Curran found some folks who were happy to share theirs for a special voyage. He joins us live now from Monroe Harbor outside the Chicago Yacht Club. Ed, how's it going? And I'll tell you, it was a spectacular day out here, though the people taking part in this event couldn't see a thing. The Chicago Yacht Club works with Lighthouse for the Blind and Visually Impaired. It's lunch at the club, then some time on the water, and it's nothing new. This has been going on for over 20 years. Uh, we've been doing this in conjunction with Chicago Lighthouse, and it's uh, one of the events that we look forward to each and every year. 80 participants make their way to the boats. On a cruise like this, you realize that even without your sight, there are so many other things to hear and to feel, to experience. You can see just by thinking and feeling the water. You can feel the power of the boat. You can feel the waves hitting you in the face. You can feel the mist. The heat, the wind, the sounds of a creaking fender, a Canada goose, the rocking of the waves. We're on the 50-foot lake house, one of 10 volunteered boats. Ed Falkenhayn is one of 10 inspired skippers. He knows what boating adds and subtracts from your life. As soon as you walk onto the boat, you're in a different place. If only for a short time on an afternoon that's beautiful in ways that can't be seen. It's still beautiful out here. What a gorgeous evening out here at the Yacht Club. We're looking at uh, just about 79 degrees right now. Very low humidity. It's a beautiful evening here at the lakefront. Uh, at the Yacht Club, the Chicago Yacht Club, Ed Curran, CBS 2 News. Jim and Mike.